everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here. In today's tutorial, I created this really beautiful smoky eye using the ColourPop Misunderstood palette. And I really loved the shade that I used all over my eyelid because it is a little bit of a more purpley bronze shade. I don't even know how to describe that eyeshadow, but it is just so gorgeous and I have not done a look like this in a long, long time. And yeah, I really loved how it turned out. So if you want to see how I achieved the look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is grabbing my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer and I just used that as an eyeshadow primer. So I just applied it all over my eyelid and then I blended it out with a damp beauty sponge and then set that in place with some translucent powder so that blending eyeshadows will be a lot easier. And like I said, I used the ColourPop Misunderstood palette and this has quickly become one of my favorite palettes at the moment just because I feel like it's so versatile. You could use it as an everyday palette or you could use it as a colorful for a colorful look or a neutral look or you can do like a really smoky look because there's a black eyeshadow so I really love this palette at the moment so the first shade that I'm going to be going in with is Devious and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease with a defined angled brush just to have exact control over where I'm putting the eyeshadow and then I went into the shade Tragic which is the very nude matte shade and I just blended that line out and then I went into the darkish shadow in the palette which is 101 and this is a matte black eyeshadow and it is very pigmented. This is probably the number one reason why I love this palette just because there's not a lot of palettes on the market that have a black eyeshadow that is super pigmented and that just blends nicely so that's why I absolutely love this palette so I grabbed a defined angled brush and just put that directly over where I applied the shade devious and then I went into the shade devious once again with a fluffy brush just to really buff out that line to make sure that there are no harsh lines and then I went back into the shade 101 and I grabbed a pencil brush and I just started to work that eyeshadow into my outer lid area just fading it inwards. When you're working with a darker foiled eyeshadow on your lid, you do want to add a lot of depth in your crease and on your outer corner just so that everything flows really nicely. And then I went into my Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer just to clean up that inner lid area. And then I went into the eyeshadow Sing, which is this gorgeous purpley bronzy metallic eyeshadow. And I just pack that all over my eyelid. It does have a little bit of pink reflex as well now that I'm looking at it in the clips. But I absolutely loved this eyeshadow. There was a teensy bit of fallout, but I personally do not mind fallout at all whatsoever because I do my eye makeup before my face makeup. And then for lashes, I went in with my Sophie Bella lashes in the style Bora Bora. And yeah, these lashes just added the perfect effect to the eye. It just Hold everything together. The link will be in the description box down below for those of you guys that want to check out my lash brand. In my waterline, I just applied the Dose of Colors Caviar Eyeliner and then I went into the shade Devious once again and I just started to buff that on my lower lashes just to warm up that area. And then I went back into that matte black eyeshadow 101 once again as well. I pretty much always use the same eyeshadows that I do in my upper crease on my lower lash line just so that everything ties together nicely. So I just applied it with the same angled brush and I just focused that black shade directly where my lashes are because I didn't want to drag it down too far to make my eye look a little bit too droopy. So that's a nice tip for those of you guys that want to have a smoky eye but don't want your eyes to look droopy. Just keep the black eyeshadow right where your lashes are. And then I went into the shade Devious to blend that black eyeshadow out and then I just applied some lower lash mascara. And this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you never miss a video and then comment done down below and you will be automatically entered to win our future giveaway at the end of this month. So I hope you guys enter and thank you guys so much for watching. I will be seeing you in the next one. Bye!